Today we're going to talk about quadratic functions. These are just parabolas. It's like a right side up U or an upside down U. And so it'd be great if you could draw yourself a nice looking parabola here. I don't want you to draw it directly in the middle. Don't use the Y axis as your, um, as splitting it. Just draw it off to the side somewhere. Either side works. Once you have that, we're going to start with the axis of symmetry. This is the most important, uh, one of the most important parts of the parabola. It is a line of reflection. That's all it is, a line of reflection. And it's going to work as a mirror image. So it splits it perfectly down the middle. So just grab yourself a highlighter or a pen and just draw in that line as best you can right down the middle. And you'll find that anything that you find on one side of it is perfectly mirrored on the other. So it's going to save us from having to find too many points. The next thing that's important is the vertex. And the vertex can be either the highest point, which would be called um, a maximum in your calculator, or a max, or it's going to be the lowest point, which is going to be more often the case. And that, as you can imagine, is called a minimum or a min. So let's go label that in our picture, the vertex. It, you can see that it is on the axis of symmetry. And so we have our little vertex there. In our case, it's a minimum. Now, the next important thing are the roots or the zeros. That's just a fancy name for x-intercepts. So I want you to go over, mark your x-intercepts. I'm going to put little stars on mine. And we're going to write down that they are either a root or a zero, whatever word you want to use. Now, you may remember from the other day that we wrote down this quadratic equation in its standard form. We're going to use um, a y instead of a zero, but it's ax squared plus bx plus c. And a, b, and c play very important parts in this. If a is a positive number, if the leading coefficient is positive, then the graph opens up, kind of like ours is right now. So it's going to look like a normal u. If a is negative, it's going to open down. So it'll be an upside down u. Now, to find the axis of symmetry, we have a little formula. So if we're given just the equation, we can actually get this graph started. So what we want to do is we want to do, um, it's just a line, it's a vertical line. So it's going to be x equals something. x equals 5 equals 12, x equals negative 3. So in our case, it's going to be x equals negative b over 2a. And that's how we're going to find the number. Then we're going to use that to find the vertex. And so the vertex is just a point, x, y. So to get the x part, we're going to use the negative b over 2a business. And then to get y, you're going to plug what you just got. You're going to plug negative b over 2a into the equation that you're using. And that will get you y. Don't worry if this seems like a lot to take in. We're going to practice it, and then it's not going to seem so ridiculous. So. Get this all down, and let's go and sketch this graph. All right, so we've got A, B, and C. Step one, you're going to label them A, B, and C. There is no number in front of X, so it's an invisible one. So A is one in front of the X squared. I'm, I apologize. Now, in, uh, B is 12, and C will turn out to be 32. To find the axis of symmetry, before we do that, we should check, is it going to open up or down? And A is positive. So this is going to be a right side up parabola. Let's go find the axis of symmetry. We're going to do negative B over 2A. So let's just plug that in. X equals negative B is 12, all over 2 times A, which will be 2. So X is going to be negative 6. So we should start off immediately, let's draw in a line at x equals negative 6. Get a highlighter, get a colored pen, whatever it is you want to do. 
So there we are, x equals negative 6, and we're going to build our parabola on this. So if you remember, the vertex, we're going to need to use this negative 6. So we're going to make ourselves a nice xy table. So let's start with the vertex. That is the most important point on here. It's our starting point. So we're going to plug in. What happens when x is negative 6? Let's try it out. Negative 6 squared is 36, plus 12 times negative 6 plus 32. I'm just plugging it into the equation. Let's simplify this. We get a little 36 minus 72 plus 32. Now, I know that 36 minus 72 is going to be negative 36, so I'm going to start there. 36 plus 32 is going to just work out to be a very nice, simple problem, negative 4. So we should go and get that vertex graphed. So negative 6, negative 4, perfect. Now, we're going to get a few other points. It says to get five points besides the vertex. But um, what we should do is we really only need to get two. So let's start with negative four. We want to pick numbers that are close to negative six to the, the, the axis of symmetry. So we're going to get negative four squared is 16, plus 12 times negative four plus 32. All right, so we get 16 minus 48 plus 32. And this time, because I know that 16 and 32 happen to add up to be 48, I'm just going to put those together. You can do it in any order you want. We're going to get 48 minus 48. We should erase that so that we know that that is not a lingering negative. 48 minus 48, and you're going to get 0. All right, that's great. I'm going to pick one more point before I go and graph this. And I'm going to continue. I was at negative 6. I went over to negative 4. So I'm going to continue moving in that direction, and I'm going to choose negative 3. So I want you to hit pause, and I want you to get the answer for negative 3. As you can see, it's 5. Hopefully you got that. You can check out the work that was done. So we have a total of three points that we found. Let's go and graph them. And um, remember, it should be right side up. So we're going to go to negative 4, 0, and now we're going to graph its mirror image. There's the line of symmetry. We're going to go over two spots, so it means we go over two spots on the other side, equally distant. There it is. Now we should graph negative 3, positive 5, and get that graphed. And then you should also graph its mirror image. We're how many spots away are we? We're three units away. So go three units to the other side. Connect these to form a nice kind of soft U. And you're finished. Try the one on the next page, and we'll check it out tomorrow in class and see how it all went. Good luck.